Welcome to Maple Story. You just hit level 200. What is the Arcane River? What are these dailies? And why are they important? Once you reach level 200, you are able to access a series of maps known as the Arcane River. As you level up and progress through the game, you'll be able to unlock further regions within the Arcane River. These maps utilize a new stat that you'll be able to access known as Arcane Force. You can see your current Arcane Force level here within your equipment tab. Each map that contains monsters in the Arcane River has its own Arcane Force level. If you have less than the required Arcane Force, you'll be doing less damage to those mobs and also take a lot of extra damage. However, if you have more than the required amount, you'll be able to do extra damage and also take less damage. This bonus caps out at doing an extra 1.5 times damage and also receiving only 1 damage per hit. To increase your Arcane Force, you'll need to do Arcane River dailies to gain bonus symbols. These dailies show up in the gold light bulb on the left side of your screen. Each of the six main areas in the Arcane River give you dailies that require you to kill a certain number of mobs in order to complete their quest. Once you have cleared enough mobs, you can hand in the quest and gain up to 20 symbols for the region on its completion. Each of these dailies from each region also give you a big chunk of EXP once you finish them, but do keep in mind that you only get to claim the EXP reward once per day per world. All the regions start with requiring you to clear 600 mobs, and as you progress further along the Arcane River, that daily requirement starts to decrease down to a minimum of 200 mobs. To level up your symbol, you simply have to equip the symbols that you gain from the daily quest, and then upgrade them through your Arcane Equipment tab. It will cost some amount of mesos that scales with the symbol's level. As your symbols level up, so does your Arcane Force, allowing you to have a better time in the areas further down the Arcane River. On top of granting you Arcane Force, each of the Arcane Symbols also gain you a big chunk of extra stat. At level 1, the Symbols give you 300 stat and 30 Arcane Force. They all cap out at level 20, giving you 2200 stat and 220 Arcane Force each. Once they are all maxed out at level 20, you'll be gaining a total of 13,200 stat. You can also gain extra symbols from doing each of the region's bonus minigames. They can be found in each of the region's main towns and can be completed up to 3 times a week for a total of 45 symbols. As you progress down the Arcane River, these will also decrease down to being completed once a week for a total still of 45 symbols. Arcane symbols can also be gained through participating in various events. Hopefully this video made the Arcane River a little bit less overwhelming. If you guys found this video useful, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. In the next part, we'll be going through the V-Matrix and Node Stones, so stay tuned. Take care, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one.